Alright, um, welcome to TGC Tours 2019 Milky Design Challenge uh, playthrough. Uh, I'll be playing Achafalaya Isle. Uh, first time I'm actually on this course, so let's go and give it a shot. Oh, started off with a long par 5. Uh, marshy. Pretty interesting, pretty cool. Look, heavily planted on one side. Like the river flowing out to the ocean. Looks nice. Pretty cool look. Uh, let's see. Yellowish rough all the way up. Uh, it looks like there's, uh, if I see right in here, the little line. That means, when you see this line like that, that means the designer took the time to trace all the way around. To get this night and these neat uh, rough. Um, this bunker is a little bit far away from the fairway. It's not really impacting play. Uh, this water hazard is, um, these bunkers here, again, they're a little far from the fairway, they don't really have any impact on play. Fairway really, fairway's really wide, um, really not much risk there. Uh, here's a little bit more... Um, going for the green, which I can't reach with these clubs, but going for that green. Uh, green seems to be of appropriate size. Bunkers are okay. Try to hit it to about here. Cool look, it's a little subtle, the overseed. Um, the yellowish uh, rough, the green fairway. Yeah, the bunker's a little far, it's not really doing much. I like the dense trees, they look nice. Fairway's really wide. Uh, it's not really. Uh, a hazard, um, but I am, you know, the angle is in play here. I want to be to the right, to get the best angle possible. Um, so there's a little bit of that. Uh oh, not fast. Green's big. It's not. Incredibly huge. Yeah, it's just, it's not really that big. Just that it's a front pin. Two bad putts in a row. Like the trees on the little island back there. <clears throat> really like the dense trees and the under undergrowth here. It's really well done. A retaining wall. Um not bad. Um, I think 
a couple of things. Uh, one, you really need to use the smallest uh, <clears throat> retaining wall section that you can. Um, just makes this look smoother. I know it's a pain in the neck, but it's really worth it. Uh, here, <clears throat> this bunk is better. It's more in play. It's getting in the way. Fairway's pinched because of it. There's an example of a bunker dictating uh, the play there. Check out this bridge. I don't know that I like the, the bridge. Um, so you gotta be careful. There's a couple of things here. One, um, the rail posts would be on the outside, not the inside. Right, the post that uh, the railing attaches to, these should be on the opposite side. Um, <clears throat> also, I don't really like the shape of it. It sort of goes left, goes right, it goes straight. It just doesn't, it should be a nice, um, <clears throat> smooth curve here, uh, but I like the idea. I like the idea. A really, really cool look. Um, green is separated, but it's framed with the underbrush and the bunker in the back. Right, this this bunker in the back here, getting a nice hill. This bunker here looks well done from back here. <clears throat> nice depression built in. Uh, for these bushes, they look natural, look like they grow there. Um, so that sculpting is really well done. Um, again, the sculpting behind the green is pretty well done too. Ugh. Bad shot. Interesting idea, the rails, uh, and the steps, coming down. Um, it's funky. I don't really see it. I, I think this fairway should kind of, uh, it's okay that it comes here. This bunker doesn't fit here. This bunker should fit in here. Otherwise, why is this um, little notch taken out? <coughs> Um, so this bunker should come here, or the fairway should just continue out this way, uh, and then <clears throat> it should be a nice smooth curve, and then come out to here, and then wrap around and have the bunker here. This fairway from to this spot all the way over here is unnecessary. I really like the water over here. I wish I could see it. I know the underbrush is kind of the theme here, but I wish I could... Maybe this T was raised a little bit so that I had the perspective from maybe here. And I could see this, because that's a really cool look. When I'm down at T level, it's hidden from view. And it's kind of a missed opportunity. It did a really good job sculpting here but if maybe this tea box was at this level um you could really see the water and maybe same thing 
on this side, maybe if just these trees here were cleared out, I could see this on this side, because that is really cool. A little marsh land there. That's really a cool idea. Uh, let's see. I like the fairway um, shape here, or the routing shape where the bunkers. I can hit to this area, or this area. Right, so this is my landing area. This <coughs> curvy spot. Um, and I probably can't, even with Master Clubs, probably could never reach here. Right, I don't think I could ever carry this bunker. Uh oh. Best. Bad shot. Uh, this fairway here is wide. It's wide. Interesting bunker with the wood um, and the growth. Um, I think it's a little forced. I think maybe it should only be up on this side instead of in front. Maybe it's the side where it is. Uh, it's weird that that, especially at this one, it's kind of weird that we would trim these bushes down and all of these bushes in this bush here but leave this here it's sort of weird um <clears throat> feels a little forced uh like i said maybe maybe the <clears throat> the brush comes out along here like this shape and the wood is on that side of the bunker or something like that make it look like uh the brush comes up to the bunker we put the bunker up against it and, you know <clears throat> it retains it that way uh, but I like the idea. Fairway is really wide. So, Oh, terrible swing. Uh, <clears throat> didn't go left off my club like I expected. Um, I thought the fairway in this hole was just really wide. Uh, it was really easy to hit 200 yards. Um, <clears throat> almost feel like we should have the wide landing area at 70 yards, 80 yards, and then pinch it at 100 with a bunker or something. I like the layout of this hole. I like the layout of this green. Um, the angle of this green makes me want to hug the coast as much as possible, which justifies the extremely wide fairway. <clears throat> um, I think as you get closer to the hole, though, fairway should narrow a bit. So 
I have this wide fairway only if I hit farther away from the green. And as I try to get close to the green and hug that, it gets narrower so that I have less room to hit. <clears throat> so if the fairway was, let's kind of bring this here. So I hit from this spot. I hit from here. Uh, I'm trying to. Right, so I'm hitting from the T here. So maybe if the fairway kind of comes this way and then starts to narrow in here. Um, these bunkers don't come into play at all, so <coughs> annoy them. But here is okay, and then as it gets closer to the green, right, so that if I'm trying to cut and I hit over here in this area, I've only got a small landing area, but if I lay back, maybe hit two wood or three wood off the tee, I've got this really wide area, so if this maybe comes this way, Instead of being this wide, the whole length of the fairway. A slightly different idea. Yeah, same comment as before. Um, you need to use smaller retaining wall pieces to get a nice smooth curve. I'll probably hit this fairly over here. Whoa! Oh, I didn't expect it to go that far left off the club. Went left longer than I expected. That long hole here. Alright, again, this fairway is extremely wide. Um. Gonna come this way. I maybe should have had this water extend and just do the water this way, like this. Just this way, the fairway narrows a little more naturally. Um, come on, wind. back. Oh, that kicked right off the off the club, huh? Oh, just in clubhouse. Let's check that out. <sighs> Pretty cool. I don't think it connects to anything. Is it a halfway house? And I assume 18 finishes there. It looks like it's the clubhouse, which you can't get to other than by walking on the course. Yeah, again, I wish this T was a little higher up so I could see this. 
that's a cool. That looks cool. Uh, so I can't see it. I wish I was hitting from up here. I kind of see it, but it'd be nice if I could really see it. Uh, this fairway is comparatively narrow. I don't think it's too narrow. I think it's just narrow compared to um, <clears throat> most of the holes on the front nine. Uh, the second time we're seeing these, in this case, this looks more natural. Right? It looks like it comes in from the coast and we actually just built a path. So one other thing that I that I've noticed that kind of sticks out is that we've used the heavy rough exclusively throughout the entire course. Um, <clears throat> oh, um, and the, all of the growth sits on that, and you lose the natural texture of the uh, <clears throat> bare terrain. Um, it seems kind of a little odd to have the really manicured lawn in this area and met with the brush. I'd almost like to see have the heavy rough come up to a certain point and then let it go bare so that we get a the natural terrain you get the you know the earthy and the rocky type of texture um <clears throat> look like you have it a little bit around this the edge of this green here um <clears throat> you know embrace that in areas where it makes sense <clears throat> all right split fairway um need masters to reach that so I can't it's par five this is really wide this is less wide so that's good I assume <clears throat> I need to hit there to reach so it's gonna turn this into a three shot hole um, I like the and I wish the tees were a little higher so I could see it um, so I like the channels there the option I want. Lay up to 150. Where's this got a little closer? Like why does see this doesn't look right. This just doesn't look right to me. Why does this fairway not get this go up all the way to the edge? So that I can hit to here and still have like a hundred yards over the water as an option. It's a real missed opportunity. Now I gotta hit one hit to here. Just this close. So that to me is a missed opportunity. Uh, would have been nice to have that option. Damn it. Uh, ooh, putter. Really nice look off the tee. Really, really cool. Bunkers look great from back here. Uh, fairway's a little wide, though. Uh, then the bunkers are there, they frame the hole nicely, but they don't actually impact play from this tee. Maybe they do from a forward tee, but they look like they're really far away. And the fairway is really wide. 
even at the neck. Sculpting looks good though. Visually looks good. That green's a little big. A little bit. Not terrible. What? Oh, I misread that one. Oh, I missed it. Bad hole. All right, long par three. Bunker in the back looks pretty good. And two bunkers there, they look good. Looks like a monster looking at you. A frog monster. Cow. I don't like this. I don't like the fairway run up. It's a long haul. <clears throat> I don't see what this bunker is doing other than visually making this look like a cow or duck. And I need like three different animals already. Frog, cow, duck, pig. And cow or duck. But I don't get zit. I don't like it. I like the bridge. front mm, definitely working against me Yeah, um, I like the idea. I don't like the execution of this. Same thing. This one looks really forced. Same thing here. Um, doesn't look right. I think having them along the back side, like this side would be okay. Come around here and on this side have that wood. Um, I don't buy it on this one at all. A shortish hole. Nothing. Yeah. Oh, I hit it too far. What am I got here? Hmm. Uh, this bunker just looks so out of place on this course. We've stuck to this style bunker the entire course, with the exception of this. This just doesn't fit. I don't like it on this course. I like the idea, I don't like it on this course. I 
feel like I just played a short hole. Smaller green on this one, though. Let's go on the back. Which one, Ryan? The, the church pew? Yeah, I mean, I like the idea. I like the church pew. It's just, it doesn't fit in with this course. Um, so it's, it's, oh no. Um, so that's my only comment. It, it looks fine, but um, I just don't think it fits in. <clears throat> This green is tiny for this hole. This green, eh, it's a little small. It's not tiny, it's a little small for this hole. Yeah, it's, the, the church pew is done well. It just, to me, it doesn't fit in the style of this course. If we had more um, simple shaped bunkers, you know, bean shaped or round or peanut shaped bunkers, then church pews make sense. This hole looks really cool. It's like isolated marshland. Really, really good look off the tee. I feel like I keep wanting more from the greens on this course. Like these greens are just conservative. They aren't bad. They play fine, but they're just every hole is just try to take aim at the pin or land it in a spot that gets close to the pin. Um, there aren't really any interesting contours. They're, they're pretty. They're conservative. I'd like to see more to them. Of course, could definitely handle it. So the first this hole we want to get as close to a hundred yards out as possible. It's gonna be here. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> what a terrible shot. Uh, 
same con um, comment about the rotating wall. Uh, just use the smallest piece. Take the time to do it. Um, all right. Uh, <coughs> Achafalea Isle. Um, overall, really cool. Really cool looking. Sculpted. Uh, sculpting was really good. Um, my main complaints were about hazard placement, um, some of the fairway widths, uh, so the fairways were generally wide. And there were a couple of uh, ideas that worked really well, uh, some ideas that were good ideas but didn't work so well, and then uh, a couple of ideas that just, to me, that didn't work, um, really contradicted the style of the course. Um, <clears throat> so the course had mostly free form kind of squiggly type of bunkers um they were those were well sculpted uh holes were generally well framed uh could have done a little more with some elevated tees just to give a little bit better sight lines um in some areas and, um, uh, playability wise some of the fairways are a little too wide um, the hazards in many cases don't really impact uh, the way the course plays, which kind of off to the side or if it's a little far away, or maybe they don't fit uh, the shape of the fairway um, quite exactly. Um, but those are like minor things. I mean, overall, technically, it's it's pretty well done. Um, you know, the shapes are mostly good. Uh, the rough is traced so that you don't get the squiggles when you overlap rough and heavy rough. Um, greens are generally uh, good sized um, for the most part. I think there was one hole where I thought the green was uh, a bit small for the length of the, sh the approach shot. Um, but overall, technically pretty well done. Uh, so really, really good job.